A brand new debate testing the parents of students in Florida. The state's Board of Education is calling for stricter scoring on tests. But some parents are fighting back, saying the system already takes too much fun out of the classroom. Do they have a point, or is it just another example of parents coddling their kids? Here to debate, parent and former teacher, Whitney Neal, and psychotherapist and school counselor, Tom Kirsting. Nice to see both of you this morning. Thanks for having us. All right, so Whitney, Joy being sucked out of the classroom, is that a valid excuse from the parents? I think so, not just for the children, but for the teachers. When you have a system that the test, the tests that they're taking are driving what happens the entire school year, it reduces the amount of time the teacher can give kids those opportunities to deepen their learning, to get excited about the content, because they're driving instruction for a particular result on the test. And the more that we place, place the emphasis on test scores and test scores determining student and teacher value, we create an environment where the joy steps back and it's drill and kill uh, for both the teacher and the student. And, and Tom, we've heard you know, the argument that it's just a lot of memorization right, for these tests. That you're, that you're, that way, as what Whitney says, you're just studying to just make sure you're performing well on these tests. And look at the number of tests that they're given in Florida from grades 8 through 12. Take a look at this on your screen. 10.3 in 8th grade all the way and in 12th grade down to 7.5 tests uh, per year for grades 8 through 12. What do you make of that? Well, what I make of it, I think that the system of standardized test taking needs to be looked at a little bit more, you know, a little bit differently. Uh, the, according to the, uh, the, the, the story that I saw, the, th the reason why I'm here is the people are complaining that kids are suffering. All right? I think that's a little bit of a far reach that kids are suffering from standardized tests. What I've seen in my state of New Jersey is that there's a big parental influence that's uh, like a big calling out about these tests. And I fear that that is being transferred down to the kids and it's causing an anxiety that doesn't need to be happening. And look at the number of overall tests, Whitney. This number astounds me. 112 standardized tests. These are mandated tests from, from pre-K through 12th. So a lot of studying focused around these tests. We've heard of recess being removed from schools, the socialization aspect of school being taken out so these kids don't get to interact, and they're spending so much time focused on these tests. You're right, and you know, I think when you look at parents, parents are kind of they're reacting because they're seeing their students you know, really stressed about these tests. We've seen stories of kids you know, getting sick in the morning. They spend weeks getting sick. They have high levels of anxiety because they can feel and sense in the school environment that these tests have taken so much importance. And when you look at that number of mandated standardized tests, it's not just those tests. These kids are taking state-based tests. They're taking local district assessments. So you think about how much that number can grow over the year for the child. It's just a, it's a very intimidating experience. We all want accountability. We all want to make sure that children are learning and they're reaching the fullest potential right. that they can, but we're not sure tests are going to make sure that that happens. So, Tom, do you disagree? I mean, this, you hear Whitney talking about the stress, the kids are not eating, they're getting scared before they have to take these things. What are you seeing? In what your I practice? see is what's causing stress is social media more than anything. I mean, I have kids huh. coming in my office every day, not to go off topic. Um, I think, like I said earlier, I think any stress that the kids are experiencing is because the parents are talking about it in the household. The kids that aren't really that aware of it don't seem, in my opinion, to be suffering from any major anxiety because of test taking. And what we have to be careful of is these kids are going to be taking the ACT or SAT exam later on, and we do not want to plant the negative seed in their head so that when they go take those tests, they're experiencing anxiety because there's now a, a correlation between that. Interesting debate. Whitney and Tom, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.